have at the moment uh, 800 pupils. We shall grow next year to 1,000 pupils. Um, and the main body of those pupils are in 11 to 16 age range. Hello. If you go to a country where people speak English, they'll probably ask you about your country. Today, you'll hear a man telling some strangers about England. He finds it isn't an easy thing to do. Mr. Copley? Mm. We've got visitors. Visitors? I'm not expecting visitors. They're here to see the minister. Hmm? They're very important people. He can't see them yet. He's busy. Good heavens! He says, can you talk to them for a few minutes? Talk to them? What about? Anything. Talk to them about Britain. About Britain? Oh, right. Ah, uh, good morning. Uh, no. I'm Mr. Copley. <clears throat> well, now, let's see. Something about Britain. Our political parties, yes. We have three main political parties. The Conservative Party. The Labour Party and the Liberal Party, our government at the moment, it... Uh, ah. But you know all that already? Of course! Education. Education. Children in this country start school at five. They leave school at 16. Or they can stay till they're 18. If they pass their exams, they can go to university. <clears throat> if you work in this country, you pay 30% income tax. If you're ill, or if you haven't got a job, you get some money from the government. Wages go up by 10% a year. Of course, prices go up by 15% a year. <laughs> Christine? Help, Christine. A cup of tea? Ah, a good idea. A cup of tea. If they pass their exams, they can go to university. If you work in this country, you pay 30% income tax. Hi, Bob. I'm Alan. Pardon? It's my Uncle Alan. It's your Uncle Alan who fixes bikes, is it? What's your bike like? Is your bike got two wheels or three wheels? Three. Three wheels. There are 14 children in the school at the moment, and uh, we're divided into two groups, the younger set and the older children. Mrs. Richards takes the younger ones. We call it an eight-form entry school. In other words, in each year group we have 240 pupils with eight forms. This works out basically at 30 pupils in a class, although this doesn't carry th right throughout the school. But in the first two years, pupils are taught in almost every subject in what we call mixed ability groups. In other words, children are uh, of every ability in teaching groups for the first two years. After the first two years, in most subjects, they become divided according to their ability and the examination level to which they attain. With the little ones, the most important thing is getting them to read, because until they can read, they are they, it's very little they can do. So a lot of time is spent on language work, looking at things, talking about things, and then introducing them 
to words which are written down and to reading books first, very simple books, and gradually building up their vocabulary until hopefully they can read quite well when they come to Mr. Beatty. We have many national daily newspapers in Britain. For example, there's the Guardian, the Daily Telegraph, and the Financial Times. They are the most serious newspapers. Then there are the popular newspapers. The Daily Mirror, the Sun, the Daily Express, and the Daily Mail. Uh, the popular newspapers have more photographs than the serious papers. Mm. They have fewer articles about international politics. They are more popular. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are. I'm sorry I'm late, but you're all right, I see. Who is this? I'm with the visitors. I translate for them. They don't speak English. What? Not a word. But, but I was telling them about Britain. I was talking about our political parties. Yeah. Our income tax. Our newspapers. And our schools. Well, I can translate for you if you like. No, it doesn't matter. Giotto. Ottozuni Steino Desga. Ah, there is something they want to know about. What is it? Nandaskar? Loch Ness Monster needs <laughs> They'd like to know all about the Loch Ness Monster. Yes? The minister is free now. Thank you. Right, we'll go and see him. It's a pity. I wanted to hear about the Loch Ness Monster. They can watch television tonight. There's a program about it. Oh, good. Cochero e Dozo. We have many national daily newspapers in Britain. Yes, please. The Loch Ness Monster. They want to know about the Loch Ness Monster. So do I. <laughs> <laughs>